Hey everyone, welcome to Logan Smosh Pit. Glad to have you here. Do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't already. It's time for another episode of my favorite bands from A to Z. One letter at a time, I plan to eventually make my way through the whole alphabet. The previous episode was based on B for Boston. Therefore, as you would expect, this episode will be centered around the letter C. I can immediately disqualify several groups that technically don't start with C, like The Clash, The Cars, The Cure, The Carpenters, The Chainsmokers, The Cranberries, The Charlie Daniels Band, Corn, and Kansas. In order to counteract all these exclusions, I substituted a myriad of potential choices, which are Coldplay, Candlebox, Collective Soul, Camel, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, Captain Beefheart, Creed, Cheap Trick, Cannibal Corpse, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Chevelle, Cinderella, Cream, Canned Heat, Chumbawamba, Counting Crows, Chicago, and Candlemass. Hmm, let's see. After carefully considering every option, I came to the conclusion that Cinderella stands above them all. It certainly seemed like the most logical pick. I've sorted Cinderella into multiple different series here on my channel. Naturally, the more I love a band, the more videos I post about them. Just like before, I've established a Q&A format to adequately convey my feelings about Cinderella. If I ran into a fellow Cinderella fan, what kinds of questions would we probably ask each other, and how would I reply? Let's find out. Okay, first question. When did I become a Cinderella fan? Fairly recently, 2019 to be exact, I acclimated quite quickly to their style of music. What's my favorite Cinderella album? Personally, I believe that Long Cold Winter wipes the floor with the rest of their discography. It's funny I say that, since I completely despise the season of winter. Long Cold Winter should help me cope, though. What's my favorite Cinderella song? The quite conflicted, yet fabulous Fire and Ice from the aforementioned album has always been my top-rated tune. Who's my favorite band member? Vocalist Tom Kiefer. Good lord. This guy possesses a set of pipes that are nothing short of amazing. His range, power, and sustainability are exceptional. Have I ever seen Cinderella live? No, and it's probably going to stay that way unless they miraculously start touring again. I won't hold my breath. On the bright side, I can still go back and watch clips from old concerts. What's the first Cinderella song I ever heard? Something that has become practically synonymous with them, Nobody's Fool. The same thing probably rings true for the vast majority of Cinderella fans. How about the most recent Cinderella song I listened to? I treated myself to a tremendous track called Push Push merely a few days ago. Every time I sit on a swing, I'll remember it. Do I own any Cinderella accessories? Not right now, but I briefly did. Last year, I ordered Dad a Cinderella Night Songs t-shirt for his birthday. He's also a big fan of them. The shirt got delivered a few days before his birthday, so I held on to it until it was time to give it to him. I took a picture of the shirt because it was extremely difficult for me to part ways with. Here's the picture. Last question. What's my favorite thing about Cinderella? Believe it or not, the aesthetically pleasing font. It catches my attention right off the bat. 
Each letter appears so distinctive. It looks quite attractive, detailed, and sharp. I like how the C and D intertwine. The subtle points that comprise each letter are very neat. Furthermore, the font swoops beautifully across the album covers. There's a treasure trove of important information about Cinderella hidden beneath the font. Well, that's it. Yay! I managed to get everything off my chest before the clock struck midnight. What's your favorite band that begins with the letter C? Let me know in the comments. That does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Till then, rock on.